It is uh, apparent to me that my love of nature isn't shared with all the people in the world. Many people care about um, money much more, think about money most of the time, and um, don't really give nature too much of a thought. And uh, that's part of the problem, obviously, that people aren't aware of what's happening when they go and buy something in the shops or drive their car. We're unaware of the problems that might be causing. Many people haven't really experienced nature in many of its forms. Um, an, an amazing thing for me was at the age of 19 I travelled to East Africa and I went to Uganda I went to a, a town right on the edge of the Ugandan border called Fort Portal and from there 26 mile drive in the back of a van to an area where there were crater lakes and there were about 40 lakes in the area and these crater lakes were well say a few hundred meters across um, usually quite round and uh, pretty pretty deep in the middle maybe 200 meters something like that maybe more well in this area they're mostly growing banana crops but around the lakes most of them or at least at the time anyway uh, the nature had been preserved um, I did join up with a lady who uh, who was there to stop people chopping down the trees around the lake uh, to keep keep them pristine while well, I was camping in this one lake that had a hippopotamus at the time in the lake and around the lake and that was the last hippopotamus of a group it was a female and um, all the other hippopotamuses had been killed by the farmers because they'd been walking on the crops uh, I looked into the eyes of this hippopotamus while it was floating in the water and I was sitting on a rock quite safe and I saw something I saw this hippopotamus and its ancestors perhaps been in this area for well say probably at least hundreds of thousands of years quite likely quite a lot longer than any humans and I saw the natural environment that this hippopotamus would have been in all this time for so long the flies the insects the trees the crickets all the noises it was was truly truly amazing insight into nature that night when I was going to sleep in a tent the cacophony of noises was absolutely amazing and I remember sort of a dream as I was drifting off all the noises making up pictures and colours in my mind and um, yeah well amazing and lovely but then there's the sad side which is that it's disappearing it's going all these around these crater lakes they were growing one thing bananas and you'd see everyone piling up bananas onto their bike and walking, walking it to town to sell, at market or deliver, whatever. And yeah, they grew other things. I mean, they had a lot of chickens, they had eggs. They obviously, they had 
ability to make bread or I assume they were making it they had nuts and uh, sugar beet but really it was just banana crops the, the whole area and there's obviously a reason for this I'm sure if they had their way they would grow a bit of variety but there's obviously pressures upon them or the, there are certain landowners who just want bananas so that the world can have bananas with their breakfast or whatever I like bananas but the other thing that slightly disturbs me is you know we're not even getting good bananas because when they're picked these bananas they're completely green and the other thing is they do use it as a staple food they have to cut the banana skins off with a knife mash them up in hot boiling water and it's sort of then just used as a staple food if they're lucky they might put some meat in there and these bananas are obviously put on ships and by the time they get into the supermarkets, into our houses they've started to go yellow yeah, they can be quite nice they can often be not very nice if you want a real banana, you have a banana tree and the bananas they grow on there are only about two inches long. You can when they're ripe, you can just squeeze them at the bottom and they just pop up. And they are the sweetest, most delicious bananas you can have. Right, so if they were to pick those ones early, they'd probably be just far too small. It wouldn't be the same. So we are basically starving this countryside in Uganda and its people from a variety of food that they could have forcing them to grow these bananas purely to be shipped across the oceans and half of them at best eaten in the end So this is the type of thing that makes me think something needs to change, this is wrong, and a new world order is what's needed.